in Hebron or other parts of the occupied territory. These are indeed uh, under international law occupied territory where Israel is the occupying power. So it's not a question of whether the person is Jewish, it's the question of these are Israeli nationals of the citizenship of the occupying power and under international humanitarian law, the Geneva Conventions, the occupying power has certain obligations and certain prohibitions including uh, having its population settle the occupied territory. And this is the reason why under international law Law, including this is the interpretation the European Union has, uh, there should not be settlement by Israel or by Israelis in the occupied territory. With regard to death sentence, uh, in general, as I was explaining before, the European Union has a general position of being opposed to the imposition of the death penalty in any case, in any situation in the world. So that's a basic universal position that the European Union has. With regard to discrimination on the basis of religion, uh, which maybe I think is the question that you're answering, also, this is something that would be of concern to the European Union. We do not believe that there should be any instances where people are discriminated on the basis of their religion. With regard to the general issue of, as we stand on the eve of the Holocaust uh, Remembrance Day, this is a moment when we should, in fact, and indeed reflect profoundly on the terrible lessons of history and what was done to the Jewish people in Europe. And we are very, very conscious of this in the European Union. And I think it's a moment, indeed, for profound reflection. With regard to the threat against the State of Israel, uh, from Iran. Clearly the European Union is extremely active uh, in the international effort uh, to prevent a nuclear weapons program from being developed in Iran. The lead negotiator for the international community for the P5 plus 1 is Lady Catherine Ashton, the EU High Representative for Foreign Policy, and she has been very actively engaged in this process. And certainly a measure of the importance which the European Union attaches to this are the unprecedentedly harsh sanctions that have been adopted by the European Union against Iran, sanctions which have inflicted considerable economic pain on the European Union itself, on certain member countries of the European Union. So this is an indication of how seriously we take this issue, the resolve that the European Union has to put pressure on Iran to come back to the negotiation table in order to find a diplomatic negotiated solution to this issue which is of deep concern to us. The meeting which is to take place today between Prime Minister Netanyahu and Prime Minister Fayyad is, is positive in the sense that it's the first high-level meeting between Israeli leaders and Palestinian leaders in, in a uh, close to two years and therefore it's a positive development. We hope that out of that meeting there can be uh, further positive steps forward which will help achieve the objective that the quartet, including the European Union, uh, hopes to achieve which is to have a renewal of direct negotiations between Israel and the Palestinians. So anything which helps move us forward in that direction, in that process, is to be seen as positive. It obviously requires uh, goodwill and serious intentions on the sides of both parties and we hope that those conditions can be met. Um, with regard to the question of recognition of Israel as a Jewish state, I mean, I've seen that the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Netanyahu has uh, clearly said that this is not a precondition for the negotiations, but as he's put it, I believe, as a condition for peace. Therefore, an element uh, which in his mind forms an ingredient, uh, a very important essential ingredient of any final negotiation. But that is something that has been put on the table or has been mentioned by the Prime Minister in the context of the discussions with the Palestinians side and it's an issue therefore which uh, appropriately belongs in the negotiations between the two sides uh, or which can be resolved